Well, howdy folks, welcome back to the cabin. One of our subscribers who's a keen observer noticed that in the uh, tour of the tiny cabin video, we neglected to show you the kitchen. So in this video, we're going to take an in-depth tour of the kitchen in the tiny cabin. Stick with us. Okay folks, so in the tiny kitchen we have this uh, cabinet that I built, um, very simple construction, I am not a cabinet maker, my <laughs> skills with a saw and a measuring tape are not nearly good enough to call myself anywhere close to a cabinet maker. So uh, this is basically just a 2x4 frame uh, that we put together and uh, the top is uh, sort of a big butcher block style, it's just 2 by 4s on end so it is a big heavy thick thing so that if I need to sand the whole thing down at some point and uh, get a new layer that I've got plenty of space to do that basically so it's a big heavy butcher block kind of top where you can just chop on it anywhere and that works just fine. We do have uh, some cupboards for storage that I'll show you a little bit more. Uh, we've got another uh, base inside that we can like, take a look at and then we've got some recycling here. So let's look at the cabinets first of all uh, in a little more detail and I'll show you some of the features of the actual cabinet that we built. So at the very end of the counter is uh, the recycling bin and that's just this little guy here and basically it's just a garbage can with uh, with a groove cut in it there and a groove here and then that just fits in nicely so at the bottom I've got some doweling and uh, that just fits into this 2x4 and that just allows it to uh, pivot on there a little bit so there's no springs or anything it's just sort of tension fit and uh, that uh, just allows us to have a place to throw cans and that sort of thing so recycling on the very end there so on the other end of the cabinet is just uh, our dishes and cutlery. So we've got a little cutlery tray there on the top and our dishes down on the bottom. So just a couple of shelves in that one. In the center of the cabinet I've got just a little doweling rod here for the uh, tea towel to sit on. And uh, then down below we've got a basin and a jug that we usually put water in for washing hands and that sort of thing and that'll sit up top. Uh, when we have that and then there's just odds and ends that you'd find under any kitchen sink. We've got a, uh, a smoke uh, or a uh, fire extinguisher, sorry, and uh, extra little bottle of propane down there and a few other odds and ends that uh, that you would have just under your sink and that sort of thing. Some cleaning supplies as well. So that guy just sits on there to cover it up most of the time and dry your hands when you need to. So on the very end of the cabinet here, I just built a little water jug stand. Um, it's fairly robust because when you put a full uh, 25 liter jug on there, um, it'll, uh, it'll have a bit of weight to it. So that's just built uh, on the end of it underneath the, the last of the counter. And then a jug just fits on there quite nicely and allows us to have our drinking water. It's at a height that the kids can get at it easily enough and not spill as well. So all good things. So the countertop, as I say, is just um, just softwood lumber. It's nothing special, but it is uh, a 2 by 4 thick. I glued all those together um, and then planed the top uh, of it to make it one big smooth top. It looks like it could use it again as it's sort of splitting in a few spots, but as I say, um, the idea was I wanted a big sturdy top that wasn't going to move around, uh, that I could chop stuff right on it and not worry about it getting dirty and oily and greasy and whatever and it was just going to be fine to be like that. I did oil it with some linseed oil uh, just to keep some of the moisture from soaking in so it uh, looks like it could use a good sanding and another linseed oil this year so we'll probably do that with it this year yet. Other ideas just for some space saving things, uh, we've got a bunch of hooks um, underneath this little shelf uh, for cups and things like that. On this shelf we just keep some spices and uh, the coffee grinder and things like that that we need to get at uh, quickly, salt and pepper and that sort of thing. Uh, over here on the side uh, we have just a magnetic knife rack which tends to work fairly well for keeping some of those uh, sharper objects out of the drawer so that the kids don't uh, cut themselves if they're reaching in there and not thinking about it. 
Um, and then all the pots and pans we have just sort of uh, hang from these larger hooks that we've got. So um, again, I had, we're still in springtime mode, so I haven't got the full set out here yet. But uh, most of the uh, bigger pots and pans just hang about the kitchen and stay out of the way that way. There is a light above the kitchen as well, so uh, at nighttime when we're uh, doing some cooking in the winter and it's dark early, we've got plenty of light right at the kitchen to be able to do the cooking and that sort of thing. Different methods for cooking in here I've talked about in another video, but essentially we've got this little single burner butane stove and then we also use the uh, wood stove quite a bit for cooking. So those are our two heat sources for uh, cooking or boiling water and that sort of thing and they work fairly well. This little butane stove uh, uses those little butane cartridges such as that uh, for uh, its fuel or you can hook it up to a uh, propane uh, tank as well so it's dual purpose and when it's real cold that butane doesn't really work very well so we do tend to use the propane uh, in here if it's super cold out but usually by the time we've got the cabin warmed up that little butane uh, uh, canister is warmed up as well and, and, and works just fine for boiling water and cooking and that sort of thing. Okay folks, boys are getting hungry so I'm going to uh, cook us up in this kitchen a big breakfast hash. You can hang along for that if you like. That's about it for the tour today. So that's everything uh, in our tiny kitchen that I can think of to show you. Like I say, it does extend over to the uh, wood stove sometimes. If you want to see more about uh, cooking uh, redundancies in here, I can put a link to another video where we did some cooking in here as well. But that's about it for us today. Thanks for coming by and uh, we'll see you on the next one.
Okay boys, come on down for supper.